So here's the RL DM1102 and all that you have in the packaging is the 12 volt power supply, the instruction manual and the modulator here and the HD version you have the power supply this instruction manual and the unit here okay so we've unboxed the RLDM 1102 standard definition and the HD 1600 now let's have a look at a few more of the details so as we see here the inputs on the standard definition one are everything from composite to S video to component and all the other aspects of uh, of this modulator are the same as its high definition brother so you've got the remote setup which we're going to have a look at in one second attenuation so remember a modulator will launch it at a high power at around 85 dB so you have to attenuate signal if you're just going to do a simple job if you're doing a bigger job it's good to have higher power um, as you can afford to have some losses through the splitting of the signal uh, yeah we have an RF output that's where your signal is going to be distributed out to the rest of your system and remote power will be powering the hub so to understand exactly what this means if you go to the RLDM1102 product page and go to specifications we've actually drawn up a typical a typical example so we've got the composite coming out of say the Foxtel box into the modulator and then we've got the RF signal coming out of here this F type connector into here into the hub a TV antenna is going in here and then all the signals being pumped out of one of these out eight outputs to each of the TVs uh, so this hub is a special hub make sure that you use this hub if it's a existing job like a Clipsal star serve job and they've got an analog setup that they're replacing with digital then that should be fine um, they're completely compatible but just to ask us um, there's a, just a couple of things that we need to address on the on the power supply side so yeah you click on that remote power that'll power this hub this hub is completely lossless so it actually boosts up the signal um, to account for its own loss so it should be nice and simple and once it's gone out to the hub you have these IR targets various IR targets that you can use um, these IR targets will be when you're pointing your TV um, when you're pointing your Foxtel remote at your TV that signal will be hitting the target and going back through the system through the modulator and back to your Foxtel so you should be able to point your Foxtel remote at any of the TVs that have IR targets and that will control your Foxtel box so that's looking at the standard definition one the HD one is very similar in uh, in most aspects the only difference really is HDMI so it's really quite good the Resilinx in that you have an HDMI in and HDMI out so in the main room if you've got a Foxtel box you can take the HDMI out of the Foxtel box, put it into the HDMI in, back out of that HDMI to the TV in the main room, and then the RF output will pump out to all the rest of the rooms. So it's almost identical except you're using HDMI instead of a uh, composite. The other thing to note is being high definition, this will support up to 1080p, um, depending on the capabilities of your TV. Again, we can explain that in more detail. Now how do you set this up? The easiest way to set it up is using the remote uh, the remote setup. So all that you do is you plug a, a standard Cat5 or Cat6 cable into that web management port and plug it into one of the available ports on your router or switch um, and yeah and just switch it on and um, let's go into my computer here uh, yeah, so I've got my network down here. We're at Radio Parts, so we've got a lot of different devices. I can see it here. If you double click on it, it'll show up as a window media player or something. Make sure that you right click and go view device web page, and then it'll give you this screen. So we can see the HD 1600 pop straight up. Um, yeah, it'll ask you your password. Username is admin by default, so 
all lowercase and then the password is admin starting with a capital A for admin so admin123 and then just hit OK now we're in default channel is 21 so you have to change that they choose 21 in particular so that it forces a user to pick an available channel um, that you'll find being digital you don't need to have any channel separation so that's really easy at that part um, you just pick any available channel most of these settings are actually all fixed Resilinx is designed for Australia so you don't need to know any of these things it's super easy um, again for for this part um, the only trick is if you're using multiple modulators in one job so some people might want to send f two Foxtel boxes around a house um, for the first one you keep all the settings the same for the next one just make sure that you add on the logical channel numbering just make sure that you add an extra ch um, channel there alright so I'll change that back yeah and the rest of these you don't need to change anything you'll notice that um, yeah the it is automatic automatically found on the network so you don't need to change that either again you don't need to change anything here you can you can actually change your password um, yeah so let's set this one up as an example so in this case we want channel 45 and then we save config make sure you hit save config otherwise when you go back out of it and back into it um, it will be you know it will be the default um, so you've got to hit save config on each part so yeah we've done um, we've done common common setup RF setup um, yeah the stream ID um, is the same thing so if you've got a second box add one add two etc if you've got multiple boxes but we can leave that all the same so we don't need to do anything in the RF setup the encoder setup um, yeah my customer is saying that he's using a Foxtel box so I just write Foxtel and then I hit save config yeah and um, and that's really it it's actually it sh you should be able to set it up within about 10 seconds um, let's just hit reboot and hitting reboot um, will just confirm that all those settings are saved so the only two settings that I actually changed was I picked my channel number being channel 45 and I renamed um, the device to Foxtel so when the customer is looking through the TV channels one of those TV channels will appear as Foxtel it makes it easy for them to identify exactly what's what um, so we're done now we see channel 45 the channel names Foxtel so we're all done um, yeah the other thing to note is if your customer really makes a complete botch up of the whole lot I'll just close that one off um, you do have the ability to reset it from the unit and that's really simple all you do is you press these two buttons up and down and then you make sure that you press the power button um, off and then back on and that'll reset it back to the default so that'll go back to that channel 21 and it'll change that that Foxtel back to channel 1 and that sometimes when your customers really stuffed around with the settings it, it might be easiest to start from scratch so you might want to use that reset feature